Hey guys, Tony here, CCXRC, and I've got a build update for you on the D90 body that I've been working on for way too long. Uh, have had a hard time getting time to actually work on it. In other news, I found my Poochie, my uh, little dog for the SCX10, he's been missing. Turns out he was in my kid's play bin with their other toy animals and uh, their dinosaurs. So, get him out of the way. So with this, uh, basically I did the primer and I painted it white and then I used a paint pen, which I've got actually here in my pocket here. Let me see if I can find one of them. Um, they were on the table and I was cleaning them up. I just picked these little uh, paint markers up at Walmart and I used that for doing all of the, the trim here and I spray painted because they were separate kits or separate little plastic pieces the grill and the light bucket uh, or the light they're not the buckets but whatever these wraps are around the front lights and and some of the details so finally got it assembled it's not perfect uh, my boys were helping me with this and I wanted it to be kind of a fun project so they helped me assemble it all and so we had a few issues with parts and some of it needs to be cleaned a little bit but overall I'm really happy with how it turned out and it's just gonna get you know a little bit beat up on the trail anyway but the paint on it came out really good putting in the windows and stuff was pretty pretty tough snapping them into place and getting glue behind them to keep them in and so that's where we ran into some issues with them helping was uh, a little bit of glue got onto some of the pieces up here where it kind of bled um, from having to reapply and stuff like that so uh, painted the interior right now I'm just going with gray uh, with black accents on the seats and so what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to mount it to this G-Made sawback frame and this is where the difficulty, the main difficulty is going to be for me and there will probably be a little while before I finish it but what I've decided that I wanted to try and do is that this actually fits in here and it has this nice platform to sit on if I leave this box up here for uh, the transmitter or the receiver and uh, I'd move the rest of the components. I think this cable is long enough to, to reach to the back of the truck there. Um, this, uh, I guess the, the transfer case slash transmission whatever mount uh, is going to be the biggest error or it's going to be the biggest issue that I have because of the molded uh, body here or this interior which I really dig and so um, it'll sit in here all right except that I've needed to move back a little bit which means I'm gonna have to do some trimming out here of these little buckets on the bottom of the uh, the floor pans I guess so to get it to sit back far enough that when the body is on that the tires will line up properly and the, the whole kit here will will reach to the back so I've got to go back just the slightest bit because I want this body sitting, you know, pretty much over these tires like so. And that's what I'm working for is right, right about here. And so I have to cut off a little bit of the back frame and put a brace in here to keep it from moving too much. But what I did is I went and I bought this styrene here. It's a pretty thick piece, but it's easier to cut than metal. Um, and my plan is to put it back here where the battery mount was before. You can see these straps in here is where it held in the battery which is just a terrible solution for them from the get-go uh, but uh, you know it's not a super expensive truck. I still think they could have come up with a better option for holding the battery and then sliding it into zip ties but that's g -Maid's thing whatever you know I don't know what their reasoning for that is but I'm gonna get rid of that and I'm gonna cut this piece of styrene to fit in there right onto these two plastic mounts here for the battery and from that I'll be able to put my ESC back here uh, I thought about moving the uh, the receiver and stuff back here but I think because I'm gonna leave this case here I think it'll be alright the, the one question mark I have is part of me was thinking I'd trim this down to be able to mount the battery up front here because um, I've still got to find out a battery solution if I put this in the back so I might just do a tray or something up on the front 
Um, but that's what I've still got to figure out, and so that'll be what I'm playing with. But that's just kind of an update. I'm going to be taking this out today and cutting these down and uh, working on this styrene, getting it in place back here. And that's just one more step closer to being done with this project and getting it out and hitting the trail with it. So uh, thanks for stopping by and thanks for all the support, guys, for the channel. Uh, I really do appreciate it and I really enjoy the interactions that we're able to have through Google Plus and through YouTube on my channel and on yours. So thanks for stopping by and have fun RCing.